Hello and welcome to another AIC video. Uh, this is an update on my 89 Wagoneer. Just thought I'd give you guys uh, yeah, an update on, on how my progress is going since I know a few of you are following me. Uh, I got my head back from the machine shop. Uh, looking good. They did a valve job on it. Uh, they said it wasn't warped, uh, no cracks, uh, but that a couple of valves were leaking pretty bad, so they, they did the valve job on it. Um, got it torqued down correctly. Got a new valve cover gasket. Valve cover's back on. I put my old exhaust back on. So I was going to use a new exhaust uh, from a newer, a newer style exhaust, uh, but I was going to have a couple of problems. First being that um, I, it didn't have the right spot for the O2 sensor, uh, and so I would have had to figure out something for that. Also, it didn't have the EGR um, stuff on there. And while I absolutely don't want to have to run the EGR, it, it causes problems, um, lower fuel economy, things like that. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to stick with it for one big reason. I still live in uh, County Maricopa County, and they still do uh, emissions checks here, and they do visual inspections as well. And so, if they saw that I had deleted the EGR, um, you know, if somebody were to see that, I would have problems. So, um, and also, I don't know how it would affect my emissions uh, for um, you know when they actually run it on the dyno or whatever. So, you know, something to consider. Um, so, I haven't put the new gasket. I have a new uh, gasket for the um, thermostat housing. I have a new gasket for the um, intake and exhaust manifolds. And we're plugging along. Um, got this all done yesterday in the morning. I did put the head on and then I had to do some yard work because it was Saturday and I had some stuff I need to get done. Um, today's Sunday. I'm not working on it today. Uh, but tomorrow morning, it's August, not August, uh, sorry, April, what, 12th, 11th day, something like that. I don't know what day of the week, the month it is anymore. Um, but we're already starting to hit triple digits, so I have to come out early, work first thing in the morning before it gets too hot. Um, otherwise, everything I touch just burns my hands. So I'll come out first thing tomorrow morning and spend some time. I'll get the uh, intake and exhaust gasket on uh, tomorrow for sure and then start putting all the accessories back together um, and see what I might have to replace. Like I know I need a new throttle cable because I broke that previously um, before doing all this. I may need a new cable for the, um, what is this? The, whatchamacallit, cruise control. I don't even know if that works. I haven't ever tested that. Uh, we'll see. Um, and I'll have to like check where the wires are routed because like this is terrible on where it's at but I can't route it better now because it's it's kind of at its limit for stretch to give me space to put things together so yeah just just fun stuff um okay just try to think if there's anything else you might be interested in knowing about it so far um obviously I don't know how it runs um I put new lifters in it. I put new push rods, but I kept the ro same rockers because I think they were fine. Nothing wrong with those. I wasn't even sure if I needed new um, lift, uh, lifters or push rods, but I figure it wasn't very expensive to get new ones. So I just got new ones because, you know, it's cheap, cheap insurance, I guess. I don't know. And add a little bit of oil to it just to see if my, make sure my oil pan gasket doesn't leak. I'd rather find that out now versus later. Um, but yeah, hopefully my goal is um, in the next two to three days have this uh, back together and able to start it for the first time in a while. So yeah, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, leave those down below. Again, this is just an update of the work I've done recently. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing day.